everyone. Today I'm going to dive into the exciting new feature from Garmin, the Endurance Score. Recently introduced to the Phoenix 7 Pro and Epix 2 Pro, this groundbreaking feature provides athletes with detailed insights into their ability to maintain performance levels over long durations. Even more exciting, the metric has already started rolling out in beta to a few other Garmin watches. So, what is the endurance score, you might ask? It's a dynamic figure that changes over time to reflect variations in your endurance. A higher score means you have a greater capacity for long-term performances, offering a solid measure of your endurance capabilities. Impressively, this score incorporates every activity you log using a heart rate monitor. Traditionally, VO2 max has been the go-to measure for aerobic fitness. It's a single number that indicates how effectively your heart, lungs, circulatory system and muscles work together to power your performance. However, as any seasoned athlete or coach can confirm, individuals with the same VO2 max often perform very differently. That's where the endurance score comes in, providing deeper insights into these variations in endurance performance. It explains a number of physiological changes brought on by training that improve fatigue resistance but are not entirely reflected in changes in your aerobic performance capacity. Your aerobic fitness, as determined by your VO2 max, serves as the basis for calculating your endurance score. This perspective represents the most significant contributor to your endurance score due to the well-studied and established relationship between aerobic fitness and endurance. Most Garmin devices automatically estimate VO2 max during outdoor runs and cycling activities recorded with a power meter. If you don't have a recent VO2 max estimate from either of these activities, Garmin estimates your current aerobic fitness based on a combination of your age, gender, BMI and recent activity levels. By examining and interpreting your activity history from the standpoint of endurance development and support, the endurance score goes beyond VO2 max. This analysis aims to account for both how challenging your training has been and the degree to which your activities likely contributed to the development of fatigue resistance and the capacity to perform sustained efforts. In addition to the endurance score itself, you also get a handy list of icons below the metric. These icons represent the activities that have most significantly contributed to your current endurance capacity. You can also view these stats in the Garmin Connect app. These are the colour codes Garmin uses to represent the figure. The following tables provide classifications for endurance score estimates, segmented by age and gender. Whether you're preparing for a marathon or simply tracking your fitness progress, the endurance score can help predict future performance and show the progress you've made over months of training. It's important to remember, however, that endurance doesn't translate perfectly from one activity type to another your score will most likely be a strong indicator of the activities you do most often. To make the most of the endurance score, just keep tracking your activities for two weeks using a compatible Garmin watch. All activities contribute to your score, but longer aerobic activities will have the biggest impact. The more activities you log, the more accurate your score becomes. In comparison to the existing stamina metric, which is primarily used to help athletes pace themselves during individual workouts, the endurance score is a more comprehensive tool. It reflects your ability to sustain performances over extended periods, making it invaluable for tracking long-term endurance development and training progress. Currently exclusive to the recently launched Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro and Epix 2 Pro, Garmin is planning to extend this feature to a wider range of its watches in the Q3 firmware update cycle. This includes the Phoenix 7 series Enduro 2, Tactics 7, Epix and Mark II units, along with the 955 and 965 Forerunners. In fact, the feature has landed in beta on the Forerunner 955 a few days ago. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to take full advantage of this great new feature from Garmin.